So I'm just gonna walk down the end of the driveway so you can see the house from the road. They did do architectural shingles, which is nice. They did build on a crawl, which is more expensive, but people in North Carolina prefer it. Um, the property lines right here, that well is part of this property and services this property if you hook it up or whatever, but it is on county water. So you don't have to use that well. Um, the situation with this property is there was a man next door um, that died and he owned both lots because he wanted his house in a big lot um, and when he passed away the kids decided to sell this lot and this this realtor and her husband who's a builder decided to buy it and put a house in here because it's a really nice subdivision um, that's another reason why it's hard to comp. There's a little building back here. Nothing special. Okay, another thing that I do like this builder came in and did a really good job on the crawl so there's a thick moisture barrier somebody left a Dr. Pepper can under there Of course, all the duct is new. Duck. My husband fusses at me. It's duck, not duct. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> American Standard HVAC unit. So there's actually a path right here where they've been driving in with equipment to access the backyard, and then there's the actual driveway for the front. First thing I would do would be paint these steps or stain them because it don't take long for wood to uh, start being ugly and bad. Cathedral ceiling in the living room. Um, LP fireplace. Dining. So you would have to buy your own fridge. Granite countertops. And, oh, another thing I like that they did in this house is they did not put wire racks in the closets. They actually put custom wood shelves. Here's the garage. You got to step down. There's the water heater. It's already got an expansion tank on it. There is a little back out right here. That's the back of the fireplace. So it does take up a little bit of room in the garage. So, if you walk through here, there's two bedrooms in the corner. One, two. And they are pre-wired for fans. So you see you have your double in a double closet um, it's got double switches so if you put a fan up there um, one switch will work the light one switch will work the fan one thing I don't like about this house here's the guest bath um, this door because it's at an angle you can't access the linen closet unless the door shut See, it's just kind of tight right there. But it's probably not a big deal for you because only guests are gonna be using it. Washer and dryer is in the hall, right by the master. I 
And then here's the master. So again, custom shelves in the closet. Instead of wire racks. And here's the master bath. standard they need to come fix this like buddy up they didn't even put wire racks above the washer and dryer there's a pull down attic which it is super hot so I apologize but I ain't going up there today this this room only has one um, closet but it is pre-wired I mean a single closet but it is pre-wired for a fan and then the back porch I would also paint or stain right away Saw uh, seated back here, starting to grow in. You can see all the little lines. So that's the new construction house in Clinton. Let me know what you think. I'm about to upload this video as fast as I can. Who's this from? Heating and cooling. You do have room on the front porch for a little couple of rocking chairs a table and a couple of chairs you definitely have room on the back porch for a grill so let me know